everybody how are you all doing today welcome back to this little series unofficially titled re-watching old travel episodes because we can't travel because the japanese government won't let us in students workers and spouses that is and yeah we've been waiting we've been very, waiting a very long time i've been waiting for over 18 months we're all angry we're all very angry but I guess all we can do is wait and be patient and be kind to ourselves and to others and um, rewatch old episodes, <laughs> I guess. But in truth, yes, we have been reacting. I think now we're up to episode 15! Episode 15 of my first time solo traveling in Japan back in 2017. And we're getting to parts where I don't know why I remember less. I remember the beginning much more in Tokyo. I remember the beginning of Osaka and Kyoto and the rain. But towards the end, I think we have two more episodes in the Kyoto, Osaka, Nara little triangle area. And then we move on to Hiroshima. And for some reason, that part is fuzzy, even though I think that was the favorite part of my trip. Like, I think maybe not this episode. Well, I liked everything, but I think the episode after this one and then everything that comes after in Hiroshima are some of my absolute favorite memories in Japan from that trip. Again, I loved everything, but you gotta have some favorites, right? But yeah, I don't know why I remember them less. Like the details. Maybe I was tired after my three week long trip. Humble brag. But <laughs> um, I don't know, I remember it a little less, but uh, hopefully it will come back and I will be able to give you some more insight and some more details. Looking back, you know, hindsight is twenty twenty. You know, some things I don't express on camera, like I've expressed before, that, you know, when you're solo traveling, you're always like, go, 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 go. And sometimes you don't really have time to feel everything. So re-watching this, I feel like it's it's... Not therapeutic, it's not the right word, but it's useful to remember what I might have truly been feeling now that I'm looking back at it. Anyway, as usual, um, please follow Education is Not Tourism. Actually, go to the website educationis.tourism.com and there are multiple platforms that you can follow. For example, on Twitter, Davide Rossi. Uh, there is an Education is Not Tourism Twitter account. I think there are many YouTube videos if you need updates about the Japanese borders. I have been in some, I've done interviews with Davide Rossi talking about the situation of students who have been stranded abroad. I have recently done an interview with Nobita from Japan, who is a Japanese YouTuber, which means that people inside of Japan are getting more familiar with the situation and hopefully more people will be on our side about reopening the borders, at least to us, students, workers, and spouses. I know we talk about students a lot, but workers and spouses are also in the same situation. And I know reaction videos aren't always fun maybe they're not your cups of tea i keep saying cups of tea it's not your cup of tea but they're multiple people so cups of tea i don't know who cares but it might not be the thing that you want to watch the most but at the moment that is all i can manage i want to keep this channel alive um this is what i came up with i know i can make some other content but Guys, I'm fried. My brain is fried. I've been waiting for over 18 months now and my brain is completely, you know, I'm... This is all I can do. This is all I can bring out of me and I hope you can understand. The followers have been fluctuating a lot. Like I can gain a lot in one go, but after I can lose a lot in one go. So I know it's not for everyone. But I'm gonna at least finish this one, the 2017 series, and then we'll see where we stand. As usual, we're just waiting for some news. So, enough of my chit chat, enough of the information. Uh, if you do want to support this channel, feel free to, you know, like give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, because once I do go to Japan, and guys, I'm putting everything that I have into waiting finding places where I can wait to make it happen and once I am in Japan I will be back to filming my my normal fun stuff hopefully I mean I know the move will probably be a lot to handle as well I'm not um, forgetting about that as I was saying if you want to support this channel 
you know a thumbs up a comment uh subscribe it always helps and if you want to do just a little more i have a patreon that starts just from one dollar a month and you have multiple different rewards coming your way each month depending on which tier you're subscribed to i feel like my nose is running can you see that oh, my nose is being runny i don't know i don't know what you can see i'm clearly not looking at myself i'm looking at the little hole anyway um five minutes already ah uh, future me is gonna hate editing this so the name of this episode is casual stroll through a bamboo forest which means i am back in kyoto but a different part of kyoto i'm going to arashiyama bamboo grove i don't remember much about that day i feel like i got an early start i remember the forest but i don't remember what else i did i do remember walking around the arashiyama area i think you know like outside of the bamboo grove i feel like i visited a temple i feel like i went over a bridge i think i went to look for the monkey sanctuary but because of the typhoon that happened like two days ago it was closed <laughs> to, yeah, to repair for repairs it was closed for repairs so um maybe i just took it easy i'm, I'm having flashes of my in my head of me just walking around and looking at the water and i remember people drawing like scenery near the the water was it a river probably a river with a big big bridge and there were people with rickshaws that's where the images that coming are coming to mind so let's see if i'm right about any of them Ooh, how loud did i leave the volume how are you all doing today so i'm back in we're back in Kyoto today and we are at Arashiyama where we're gonna see temples again and in Kyoto looks like Kyoto and right? a bamboo grove a bridge maybe some monkeys I was so lucky with the weather I'm very happy because this morning I looked at the weather and I said rain and I was like oh no <laughs> exactly what I mean. here we go again but um yeah there's sunshine I can see some blue sky and uh, I think a whole bunch of people got the same idea as I did because the trains were so full coming here I don't remember that I don't remember the trains being packed I'm slowly forgetting my Japan trip guys I'm seriously starting to get all my temple names mixed up more than usual but I believe this is called this one is named Tenryuji Temple. I think this is where the American lady talked to me and had some opinions about Trump. I remember the photos I took of that particular point. I remember, I think I, I tried to throw my my coin and um, thoroughly yeah thoroughly missed because I was filming at the same time and it was just like. Nope. <laughs> I think I've been around, been up, been down, been across, been over. Um, forgot to warn you guys, and I actually forgot myself, but when schools are around, they are usually given a leaflet of work to do while they're here and some of the questions they need to ask to a English speaker. So you could be targeted by a bunch of young students <laughs> yeah it is the garden where the the american lady from washington apparently said that she wanted to stay in japan until trump disappeared well <laughs> a few years later he's finally gone um and also i just mentioned in this clip that you can get targeted by high school students or like middle school students who are on a school trip and have a little questionnaire that they have to ask uh, tourists in English so they can practice their English and I don't remember the questions at all uh, it was like what are you doing in Japan or what do you want to see in Kyoto it was like these random questions but if you're in a, a touristy area and you see like little small groups of maybe four or five uh, students in uniform you might be asked a few questions.
I just had a little bit of food. I had some taiyaki. I tried some different flavors, but actually the quality of them I remember kind of... those taiyaki! I bit into one and it was actually raw inside, which is not good. It wasn't even yeah, hot, so... It was bad. The best one I had so far was when I got around... Um, I don't know this thing. The best uh, taiyaki I had was around uh, Asako Sarin. Yeah. And it, I chose a pumpkin flavor. It was I so wish good. I went back and tried different flavors because they had a bunch. It was so disappointing. I got like a bunch of different taiyaki with different flavors because it was like, yay, taiyaki. And they were so bad. They were so bad. They were so cheap, you know? I mean, I guess you pay what you... You get what you pay for. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, I'm gonna go on that the bridge. I think it's called Bogetsu. Bogetsu yeah, Bridge? Bridge now. Not sure. This is not as easy as it looks. <laughs> trying to vlog and walk <laughs> in this car of people while having my camera attached to my back yeah. I'm just like making a beeline for that bridge I'm just trying to I'm just trying to get out of that area yeah it's a pretty cool bridge can you see like the water again probably because of the typhoon you do not want to fall in there a little bit scary for some reason I don't remember the bridge looking like that I had a totally different bridge in my head but this is pretty cool. Mountains are really pretty too. Oh, and that's when I see that the monkey park is closed. Oh well. Hmm. For some reason, I remember the, I thought the bridge was a little more arc shaped. I don't know why <laughs> that's where I brought the cucumber. That's usually how it happens. This is pickled cucumber. Reverated in lemon. It wasn't bad, it was just a really um, odd taste from what I can remember. What am I gonna mm, say about it? It's not bad, it's just weird. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like, why would you want a pickled cucumber on a stick? Maybe it's an acquired taste. Funny? It was just weird. I don't think I finished all of it. I kept it and then was eating it throughout the day. And then maybe threw away the rest because it was just really an odd flavor, something I wasn't used to. That's why I don't remember Kinkakuchi at all. I just remember. Actually, it's really pretty now that I'm seeing it back on, on video. But what I remember from Kinkakuchi and the garden is the people. Luckily, the admission fee is like 400 yen, which is fine. But this. <laughs> not really worth it. Sorry. So, not far away from the Shiki Market. I don't know which turn I took. I just was walking and I found myself in this little um, closed marketplace. Is this why I accidentally go into an SEX? Shop thinking it was like a cosplay costume thing. I'm not sure if it's that point. <laughs> I'm gonna go in there because it looks really, really cute. That's where I got all my stickers. I thought it was in Osaka. Okay, I'm okay. I think I think I remember kind of like barely. I remember the sticker store. And I think I accidentally go and do that SEX shop. <laughs> I keep making the same mistake. Look at me, I'm blushing. What happened? I keep walking into stores that look like anime stores. And then I realized the only customers there are men. And a lot of boobs and weird outfits. And a lot of stuff <laughs> is staring at me. So I'm like, yeah, I need to get out of here. And the episode is over <laughs> yeah like i feel like at the same time i do a lot in this episode but also i don't um it's kind of weird to explain but um maybe the reason i don't remember is because the crowds just made me skip a lot of things it's so odd like 
remember these like maybe behind a veil like my memory is getting a bit hazy but these are like the later episodes so i should remember them a little more clearly it's a bit odd anyway um it pretty much happened like the beginning pretty much happened like i remember like i started in arashiyama i go visit a temple uh, i talk to the american lady i talk to the students more bamboo grove then i go to the bridge which wasn't at all the image I had in my mind, I really thought it was a little more arched, whereas you guys thought was not the case. Wanted to go to the to see the monkeys, couldn't see the monkeys, and then it turns out I finally go to Kinkakuji. I'm not sure how close or far it was from the Arashiyama area, maybe, well, I did see a train, so I definitely took a train um, to Kinkakuji. And then it was just too many people. I couldn't in enjoy it at all. Like looking at the images now through the video, I can see it's a very nice little golden temple in the middle of a lake. But <laughs> I can see that through the video, you know. Um, I wouldn't have been mad if I had skipped it, to be honest. But that's just me. I don't like crowds. I don't like people. And then I end up in this shopping area like this covered shopping mall arcade kind of thing don't remember that at all but i do remember the sticker shop so well i think actually hang on it's so much this literally right next to me oh some of them are already coming undone this is my first uh travel journal i bought i didn't buy a few i bought this one like they're good quality stickers Uda Uda, this one is from them. The Kappa is from them. This little funny bunny is from them. Uh, this one I got for free. They're like, do you like cheese? And I was like, I didn't even understand they were saying cheese. I thought they said trees, but <laughs> it gave me this little mouse sticker one that has some crap on it. But <laughs> that's where I got the stickers I was so convinced it was from an arcade area in Osaka because I visited so many of them and then the flash just came back to me like that was the day I went to that cos cosplay I'm saying SEX but clearly in the video I, I say the word and I didn't get demonetized so I don't know I don't want to risk it um, <laughs> I go into that store uh, from the outside it looks like it's an anime store you can see like cosplay outfits and stuff and then it took me a while to realize it was actual corn you know because <laughs> they had like little fun little gadgets not at all corn related it was like i don't know the things that you can put in, in your nose and like pull out the hair i remember that and like card games and stuff and then i started noticing that they were all men reading like henty and stuff i'm calling it a different name okay don't come for me <laughs> um and that's when i was like oh, i'm gonna get out of here because i don't think i'm supposed to be here and clearly i look like a foreign girl who's lost her way <laughs> but the most awkward thing is that i didn't mention there is that there was someone at the door he wasn't there when i entered but definitely when i walked out there was someone like wishing the customers well on their way so i was just, i just put my head down and exited and he didn't say anything to me i didn't say anything to him it was just it was just well awkward and i don't remember what i did afterwards at all it's like so weird that i only have these little pieces of these few days um the next one i actually the next one i kind of remember quite well and I think that's a favorite of mine, but also for other people. So I'm looking forward to filming that. All in all, I know I had a good day. Just too many people. And bear in mind that my anxiety and my social anxiety, they weren't as bad back then as they are now. So seeing all that really made me, you know, clench up. <laughs> made me anxious just watching it. So I wouldn't have been able to do it in my state now though i think i'll get better once i'm back in japan with all the people especially in tokyo oh my god i'm gonna have to live in tokyo but also i'm gonna live in tokyo guys <laughs>
Thank you for sticking with me if you're still there. I understand if these are a little less interesting, but like I said, just trying to keep this channel alive until I go to Japan at this point. Maybe my creative juices will come back in the meantime, but for now, reaction episodes are what I am doing. So I hope you guys are well. I will see you in the next one. Take care. Thank you for everything you're doing. If you're, you know, like retweeting my tweets or other people's tweets about the situation and, you know, all the good stuff. So take care. I L word you all and see you in the next one. Bye.